Hello, Amanda here with Crafting with Amanda, and this is day nine of 30 Days of Sketches, Christie's Beautiful Life, round 11, and our sketch today is by Sarah Davies, and it's hard to see, but there's some vertical lines, and then she has some circles in the background with some squares for your photos. I had drawn for my last layout this big envelope of photos because what I'm doing is rolling the die as to what photos I'm going to scrapbook next and so I have decided I'm going to go ahead and just do all of these so for today's sketch challenge I am taking these photos that are kind of the entryway into the house that we purchased in California and here you could see Sarah's sketch again with the upside the vertical lines and the arrows and all of that and I will be doing that in a little miniature 4x6 scale here in the bottom of these pocket pages. These are from close to my heart. I have not used them as much as I thought I would, but I think part of that is I have always gone away from the, the photos, envelopes that have like tons of photos from one subject. And now that I have this challenge in front of me, I do believe that I am going to be doing more picture my life scrapbooking as far as putting the photos in these photo pockets and um, kind of embellishing them a little bit, but letting the photo show the story of this is the house before. And that's exactly what we're at. These are all photos of the entryway into this home before we did remodeling and painted the outside and took out the second front door. Because here on this picture in the middle, it looks like you walk straight into the front door and that's not really the front door. That would walk you into a family room or that's what we call the family room. But if you turn to the right, there's an actual formal front entryway there. So we went ahead and um, canceled that front door into the family room and so there wasn't the, the confusion of which is the front door and so just these are the before pictures so here I'm just taking the scraps from my wander kit which is what I did for my layout on Tuesday and I know this real life um, I can't even viewfinder spool is for like a fishing thing because it's R-E-E-L but um, I just love it. I love how the viewfinder kind of indicates that there's more pictures to come. And I moved the second circle down. And this circle is from the Life's a Hoot card making kit. All of the supplies that I use, even if they're retired, I will put in a list below the description. So if you're curious about the wander paper or don't remember the name of it and you want to see if somebody has it available or, oh, I remember that. I don't know if I ordered it. You'll at least know what you're looking for when you go to your supplies. And I did get the scrapbook workshop for wander. So some of these pieces like that ticket and some of these frames are from that leftovers from the scrapbook workshops. I never did the full scrapbook layouts. I did a couple of them or maybe just kind of did my own thing and I will continue to do that with the rest of the pieces parts but I think it's gonna at least for the first set of photos from this California house I will be using those colors. And here I'm just kind of looking at the arrows that Sarah has on her layout and kind of, you know, it's great. It really draws your eyes into your focal point. Here I just have a little bit of journaling just talking about that this was the entryway um, and that this is before we took out those trees because they would actually rub on the garage and the house roof lines. So anytime there was some wind, you had this wonderful metallic rubbing sound that would just kind of echo through the house. So pretty early on our living in this house, we went ahead and removed those trees and planted some interesting shrubs, but things that would not get so tall, or at least the one that we did get that's going to get taller. It's going to take 20 years to get there. At least that was our plan. We won't be able to see it because, you know, God had a different plan for us and we finished the house or actually didn't even finish the house and landscaping before we found out that we were going to get to move across the country again. So here I'm just taking the charcoal ink and inking the edges. 
I used charcoal ink to stamp that viewfinder reel and the other circle element from the Life's a Hoot stamp set. And as you can see, I totally followed Sarah's sketch, or at least I think I, I honored it that way. And as I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh, I need one more. I don't know if element is the right thing, but I'm thinking that I want to embellish on the photos a little bit. And so I'm trying them out here. And then I realized that, well, I already have the one below with the journaling on it. So is there a spot over here I could add that? And as we're looking at this side, I just want to tell you that on the wall of this entryway is a mosaic tile and it's um it's definitely has like bumps and bruises and and it looks like from Tuscany you know that kind of a a wall so as part of the demo the crew needed to take that down but then make it so that it was a flat wall surface and not um looking like a several hundred year old Tuscan wall. <laughs> it was a challenge, but um, the new owner came back when we put the house on the market and she absolutely loved it. She was raving about it and just told everybody that was there for the open house, oh, this is so nice. They've done such a good job. So we were really happy that she liked what we did. Be sure to check out the playlist in the video description below. If you want to help any of us out that are doing this, go ahead and like our videos. Here's another video you may be interested in, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.